Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So tonight we're going to talk about principles, logic, and consistency in Virginia. Principles, logic, and consistency are three things that have been sorely lacking in American political thought as of late. We're going to talk about this because a whole lot of people have asked me my opinion on what's going on up there. My principles dictate that in order for something to be a crime, there has to be a victim. If there's not a victim, there's not a crime. It's, it's pretty simple. Uh, I like to try to give freedom a chance. I also believe that nobody knows how to run your life better than you. So the local jurisdiction is going to be more responsive to the will of the people in that area. Pretty simple, not complex, not complex ideas. Okay, so what's going on up there? <laughs> the state is proposing some pretty sweeping legislation. Local jurisdictions are saying, no, we're not going to do it. We're not going to abide by these laws. We are going to create Second Amendment sanctuaries. Okay. Because of my principles, I have to say, the mere possession of something doesn't necessarily create a victim. Therefore, if these guys want to run around and everybody in the county wants to carry an Uzi, that's on them. I would also say that the local jurisdiction probably best represents the will of the people in that jurisdiction. So yeah, the far right wing Virginians have my support from afar <laughs> on this one kind of thoughts and prayers things. You guys want to do this? Go right ahead. I don't think the state should deploy the National Guard to uh, force compliance in this. I think that's a really bad idea and can cause things to spiral out of control, which would probably create real victims. Now, there's a whole bunch of right-wingers going, yay, right now. All right, now's the consistency part. If these are your principles and you believe this, you have to support other forms of sanctuary jurisdictions. Whether we're talking about other forms of prohibition or immigration. The mere existence of a person does not create a victim. The people in the local community decided what they wanted. Right now, I'm sure somebody is saying, you know, there's no amendment saying we have the right to keep and bear illegals. You're right, but that's not how most of the Constitution works. The Constitution is a permission slip from the states to the feds. This is what you're allowed to do. This is where you have power. If the power is not specifically listed in the Constitution, under the Ninth and Tenth Amendments, it's reserved to the states and people. At no point in the Constitution is there a power granted to the feds to determine who comes in and out of a state. Doesn't exist. So even from the constitutional aspect, if you want to remain logically consistent and you want to say these are your principles, you have to stick to them. Otherwise, they're not your principles. You're being drug around by the nose by some politicians that have found a talking point that resonates with you. It's propaganda. Either what you believe to be right and true is right and true, or you don't have any principles. You just have whatever your betters tell you. This is what you need to believe. And in this case, this is what you really need to take a stand for. This could get ugly. This could get ugly real fast. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. But it could. And it's not going to be those politicians egging you along. It's not going to be those special interest groups from outside of the state or outside of the county that have to pay the price for it. It's going to be the little guy. You guys want to take this stand, more power to you. Seriously. But... I would ask if they're your principles or you're just being told what to do. And if they are your principles, are you remaining consistent with your beliefs? 
anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.